Or to speak further on the Ganduje case, legal and political affairs analyst Justice Ojeno joins me on the news. Thank you for your time, Mr. Ojeno. Now, what's your take on this back and forth over the suspension of uh, Ganduje and the move by the APC Kano State chapter warding of the suspension? Should that happen considering the allegations leveled against him? Okay, for me, I, I just think that it's some of the norms of, of democracy. The only time where you don't see intrigue is when politics is dead. For example, in a firm dictatorship, and in most democracies, you will see that you see some, some facts that are stranger than fiction. So in this situation, I'm actually not surprised at all. Uh, <laughs> this is not the first time it's happening. And it's not only in Nigeria you will always see this kind of very, very, uh, maybe I should make bold to say shameful acts by, by uh, people at the world level because it's potentially, it's possible that they have been bought off because we know that usually these uh, political parties, constitution, PDP, APC, they usually say when it comes to the national chairman, they will suspending him, removing him. It has to be a national working committee decision. So when you see what, uh, what, uh, executives doing it at this level and in this manner, you should. Uh, it's possible to suspect that maybe some some water have passed under the bridge. Some some palms potentially have been have been greased. But again, uh, the allegations against the chairman of of the APC is criminal in nature. And as it said, it's still an allegation until it is proven. And again, the standard is even beyond reasonable doubt. That's when anybody should be able to, to act on it, especially at the world level. So I feel that the world doesn't really have uh, the power or the, the, the right or the moral authority to, to actually carry out this act. If not that, they are, they are fifth columnists that have found themselves uh, amongst the world executives. And I feel that it is, it is not uh, untoward for the world executives to have been uh, to have received their own reprisal uh, <laughs> attack too, from the local government executives and the imprimatur too, of the chairman of the of the state executives who are in this situation. Right now, so there have been others like um, Adams Oshomale, Uche Secondos, and the Yochia Ayu who have lost their seats in this manner. Do you see that happening to Ganduji as well? Okay, for me, it's it's a it's a hard it's a, it's a hard one for me. It's not easy for me to say a yes or to say a no because when it also happened against uh, those those uh, the people you just mentioned now, we found it as preposterous. We found it as practically laughable and impossible. But it was this snowball that that uh, gradually built up and built up enough force to now eventually result in their in their in the uh, <laughs> removal from, from the high seats. Mm. So I, I, it's gonna be very, very hard for me to say, maybe that is not what's at play here. Maybe, maybe they've had the plot and the, the, the first finger is stayed one cancer and if it is not killed and killed to its roots, maybe, maybe, maybe that will eventually be what will be the fate of the APC chairman in this in this situation but i, I hope and pray because we, we know the the pulse of the president when it make when he chooses anybody for any office to a large extent it goes a long way to ensure that it defends them and it defends their stay in that office i, I don't know whether to even pray that that's the situation in this case because to me as far as i'm concerned no politician should be at sleep no politician should go to sleep they should be made to be on their toes perpetually. Anyone that does any wrong should be punished, including if it's a crime, they should be punished. Even political parties too, opposition should also put uh, the other parties too on their toes. So I don't, I don't pray, I don't want any politician to be at full peace because when they are at full peace and there is no competition and there is no rivalry, the customer, which is the people, they are the brunt of it, will take the short end of the stick. We keenly uh, monitor the situation as it unfolds. Legal and political affairs analyst Justice Ojeno, thank you very much for lending your thoughts.